is Danielle Kuhn. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I am the Assistant Director for Education and Support Programs with the Center for Diversity and Inclusion, affectionately known as CDI. Dialogue is a process in which we take to give people an opportunity to hear each other out. Um, and it's a little bit more than that. It's not so much a debate or a discussion because we're not trying to prove anyone right or wrong. We're just trying to give everyone the opportunity to uh, tell their side and to advocate for their selves, their own opinions, and how they see and view the world. And it's oftentimes um, in collaboration with the facilitator that allows for everyone to be heard and to feel included. So the ways to engage in dialogue here at American University, well first is that you'll get your experience through AUX. And so AUX really is kind of um, the other side of the coin to CDI when it comes to dialogue. It is a collaboration between the two. So as you become acclimated and learn more about dialogue and AUX, you'll also have the opportunity to um, learn more or participate in dialogue with CDI as we offer different dialogue sessions throughout the semester for you to participate in, have dialogue with other students around different um, topics and themes that are important to the AU community. So the role that positionality has in dialogue is a big one. And I think first you have to understand what positionality is. Positionality basically is you have an understanding about the labels, um, how you've been socialized, how you identify, and your perspective and your experience and how that shows up in the room. So it's your position and your perspective and really understanding how that affects the space. So in dialogue, you may have different people, uh, staff, professors, students, people from out in the community that are coming to speak in a space. And so just recognizing your own perspective and experiences, you'll be able to recognize how it may affect the group in the dialogue. Dialogue and self-reflection are both anti-racist practices because what they do is help you to interrogate yourself or more like challenge your own beliefs. And when you have been socialized to believe and think and behave in a certain way, um, you don't know that those behaviors and what you're doing may be contrary to the, the movement towards liberation, which is basically the antithesis of being racist <laughs> and not being able to be free and live your life in a way that is fruitful and helpful for everyone involved. And so self-reflection and dialogue really helps to perpetuate uh, a system that allows for you to continuously um, challenge the binary, which is what we are socialized to think in, whether it's this or that, we're then able to see that Things can be on a spectrum, and you are able and capable of having a dialogue and um, speaking about what it means to change those behaviors and reflect on yourself in that.